this video podcast um, by myself, Karen Horridge, and my medical student at the time, Peter Ireland from Newcastle University, describes parents' experiences of using the traffic light tool or the health functioning and well-being summary that's completed prior to the disability clinic consultation. Parent carers and children and young people tell us that it can be really quite daunting coming into clinic and quite difficult to gather thoughts together to prioritise what needs to be addressed today. So this tool was co-developed with disabled children, young people and parent carers and other experts from the multidisciplinary team. It covers two sides of A4 and is intended to be completed on the day of the clinic in the waiting room and brought in to form a catalyst for the discussion for the day. It starts off by celebrating what's going well, because otherwise the disability clinic can become a long list of all the things that the child or young person can't do. It then goes on to ask the family to problem solve for themselves about what make, might make their lives easier or their quality of life better. There's then room for any questions or concerns. On the reverse, the family's complete traffic-like fashion whether there are no concerns, some concerns intermittently, or really serious concerns. And the aim is to try to address the serious concerns on the day of the clinic. There's then a list based on uh, data that we collected from a large population sample of different health conditions that we know co-occur, like constipation, sleep difficulties, etc. Also a range of areas of functioning, mobility, hand function, etc. And then an area of personal and environmental factors uh, that might be completed, such as family issues, school issues, access to leisure issues, equipment issues, support issues, information issues. So the families bring this in and we use it for the clinic. So what our published study shows is that 60 consecutive families, the majority of them, the vast majority, really value using the tool and they found that it helped them to gather their thoughts on the day of the clinic and also helped them to prioritise what their needs were that day because of course we can't cover everything at every consultation. I commend the tool to you and encourage you to read the paper to find out parents' views. Thank you very much for your time.